What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily. Today we're going into the snake room, and I uh, got word from Pablo over the weekend that the green tree pythons have hatched. Actually, it wasn't over the weekend. It was. It felt like a weekend because I went to Legoland with my son and my daughter and my wife, my two daughters, I should say, for Logan's birthday. He's actually homesick now. He got sick from going to Legoland. So it wasn't bad enough that he was off from school for two and a half weeks. Now he's off another couple days. So he's home with me. He's going to help me with some of the snake videos today. And we're going to take a look at definitely those green tree pythons. Uh, I, I hear a couple of them didn't make it. So it's not the end of the world, but I always blame myself. So we'll, let's take a look at those and see what happened. And we'll see some of the amazing, amazing green trees that we produced here. All 100% Aru locality. I'm super excited. Let's take a look. All right. Of course, the day I went to Legoland with the kids, the green tree pythons hatched. Thank God Pablo was here. And we actually, he took some of them out. Right? These, these actually came out of the eggs this morning because yesterday they hadn't come out yet. Look at these. Look at this cutie. Would you? Would you? Why is my one so blurry here? What a cutie. Look at that guy. All the neonates are yellow. We didn't get any red ones. These are 100% Arus. Because both parents, look at what a cute little baby that is. Tongues flicking and everything. So these will stay yellow for about a year and then they'll start transitioning to their green color. Hopefully they'll keep a little more yellow in them, like the parents have, or blues, right? The parents have blues in them, excuse me. Look at that baby. We still got one in the egg right there. It's the last one that hasn't come out. Hopefully it's alive. Let's shake them. It's, if they only were this, this attentive like their whole life, but then what happens is they want to bite the crap out of you when they get a little bigger. Maybe not the captive born ones though. We'll see. Our pops poke this one a little bit, see if uh, how it's doing. I thought I saw him moving. Yeah, I think he's moving, right? Yeah. Okay. So he, he just hasn't come out yet. Yeah. And then there's one underneath here, I think, too, right? Yeah. Um, here. Oh, there he is. All right, we should probably, maybe we should put these. Pablo set another little container up over there in the incubator. Of the ones that had come out of the egg yesterday. It's amazing. They hatched yesterday and they, and they were out of the egg yeah. by later that evening. I don't know. Maybe they don't stay in their eggs as long. All right. So we're going to take the two more that hatched out. We're going to add them to these four. So that's six. And then we have one more that hasn't come out of the egg yet. That's going to be seven. Pablo has these guys set up also in the incubator still, but over, a, over some water to keep the moisture really good. They have a little perch. They go on, They've, remember these guys have never perched before, but they instinctually know how to do that. It's almost like a, a mammal baby latching onto a mother's nipple uh, to drink some milk. These guys just know, wrap, perch. How cute is this? This is great. The This is the redeeming, I guess, quality, Pablo, of losing the, the mother, unfortunately to a respiratory infection or something. She just never, I think she was just weak from carrying those eggs for so long and then she got a respiratory. The other two we treated that didn't lay a clutch of eggs are now doing fine. They're actually breeding now, which is kind of cool. So I don't know what happens, stuff happens. But these babies look, I think we're gonna get seven good ones, hopefully. And uh, knowing my hoarding self, I probably won't wanna let any of them go. <laughs> just raise these guys up. Because look, hey, these are captive born, right? I mean, that's the best way to do it, right? Yep. And we'll see. We will see. Now, what? How old is? Are you supposed to be before they you probe these guys to oh, see? Um, year old? At least a year. Yeah. Although now they have genetic testing, right? So we should yeah. uh, we should find out how to swab these things and, and get them genetically tested. Problem is, we're gonna have to really put them in their own little tubs because we're gonna want to make sure we don't confuse them because they all look exactly the same. What is? <laughs> What is that? I guess they dropped a umbilical. Oh, it fell off. Yeah. All right. Good. We'll, we'll put them back so they keep the moisture nice and high in this tub. And uh, uh, what is it? About a week before they shed? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what the time frame is. I know some people 
uh, say they'll eat sometimes before they should. But yeah. these look like they're pretty well nourished. Yeah. They're not like really weak looking. Because I mean, I'm compare The only I can have to compare them to is carpet pythons, and you know sometimes the carpets come out looking a little beefier. These they look kind of similar to the carpets. Once in a while, you get a really really skinny one. I don't these of these six. I don't really see any skinny ones at this point. No, they look good. So it's all good here. Palumbo's pythons and boas. A very happy day here, hatching green tree pythons. All right. Here's our ivory getting big. A lot of size they put on, right, Logan? This guy? Yep. Or girl, we don't even know what it is yet. It's probably a boy. Why do you think it's a boy? Um, um, because, um, it, oh yeah, it, wait, can I see the eyes real quick? It's uh, black and red, so we don't know. <laughs> he does have a long, slenderish body, but so I think he's be, still too it small. Boy. It might be a boy. Could be a boy, I hope he's a boy. Yeah, I hope he's a boy too. Look at that blue tongue. What a beautiful blue tongue he's got. You know I love white animals, Logan, right? We love albinos. This yeah. is not an albino, but this is a um, pretty much patternless yeah, the tail's white, whitish, almost whitish. Gets a little bit of yellows or beiges in them. No, it probably stays yellow. I'd love to get another one of these. Oh, you are going to get another one. I don't know. We got we to put him in a, in a better cage. Right now he's just in a tub, so... I want to put him in a cage where we can see him and enjoy him. His, uh, my other blue tongues are in the winter. They're wintering. Pablo and I put them in the hibernation or brumation, I should say. And so they're just, they just have water and they're not moving around oh, too much. We can take a look at them in a second. Shed He's shedding right now. You like to pick off the shed, huh, Logan? Mm -hmm. Logan, home from school. Because I have a big fever. Well, I want to take a shed. You have a big fever. You don't, look very, you don't look very feverish to me. Well, I was hot. He's walking on my arm now. We got to be careful he doesn't fall. He's got very short legs. Lucky. We love uh, we love our blue tongues, right? Yep, very much. Too bad you can't keep them together. A lot of people. Ty Park told me to keep these things outside, Pablo. Ooh. He said in a big enclosure, put them all together. He said, I don't know. It's kind of cold. It's cold. If you put it, because they have to be on like a flat surface. They're not like climbers. I don't know where we would put like a heat. You need. They would need some kind of heat. I would think. Because it, it was like in the 40s today outside. Very freezing. Oh, it's going down to the 30s again? Yeah. Uh, when? I think Saturday. Oh, uh, we got to pull those. It was my birthday. It was my birthday on Monday. How old are you, mister who put drawers on his face with magic markers? Seven. Whoa, he went to Legoland. Maybe we'll put up some Legoland footage. Show everyone. Yeah. Did you like? Which ride was your favorite? The um, blue one and the green one. I'm um, the green, the first green one. The roller coaster, you mean? I'm the green roller coaster yeah it was like the little circle where it has horses on it and you sit it and then the back like there's a little thing where you, it goes like very fast and something hits your back yeah. and that's that's how you you get protected uh -huh. and then when it went high, this high up all the way to the track i was almost getting a heart attack yeah oh yeah i put it this way he's way braver than i am because i wouldn't even go on the roller coaster so good job blog <laughs> Take the going into the albino water monitor. Here he is. He's, he's waiting at the glass. Logan, you like this guy? He's big. He got big. He's probably quadrupled in size since we've had him. Is it, is it a boy? It, it's a boy. Probably. What do you think it's a boy? <gasps> Dad, it's, Dad a boy? it's a little shed under his mouth. Yeah, he's got some shed on him. His actually on his back too. See, it didn't. He didn't really shed that well. I, I, I. Th we may have to spray down these enclosures a little bit, Paolo. I, I thought. It would be wet enough with those big water bowls we have in there, but evidently maybe not. Maybe they're not. I think water monitors in general don't shed that well. I mean, he lays in the water all day. You would think that would be enough to get the thing off. He just, I don't think they can rub their shed off like like snakes can. Oh, yeah, look, look, you want to feel this off? Yeah, look. Nope. Feeling it off right here. I'm just Yeah. He's too See him when he does the tongue flicks? See him sticking the tongue out? That means he's in a good mood. I thought I if, he, if he starts making puffing sounds like, then he always does. Yeah. I saw he, I saw he uh, did. Uh, he was like, uh, wait, he can climb. You hear him blowing? Yeah, that, that's sometimes when he's like that. Ooh, he's gonna go for my head. I don't want him going on my head. No head. No head. Don't. Get you know that. why I don't want him on my head? Because he's very, he's got very sharp claws. So 
Oh, he, he scratched my face the other day. I didn't even know it. Am I? Until two days almost later. What's that like, black thing on your head? I don't know. I'm, it's called getting old. Um, it's probably just a little <laughs> black. You really yeah. should. It, you should really wear gloves when you hold these guys because they their claws are really that sharp. They're like little talons, like little needles. You see his tongue Get flicking? Away. Tongue flicking is Get good. Away from me. Tongue flicking is good. He doesn't Get know you. He doesn't know you smell. That's why you want to do. Get see, go like this with your hand and go under his chin like oh. that. That's what he he likes it. Oh, Logan's a little scared. I, I don't want him to bite me. Yeah. You know what this guy's name is? Uh. He... Kofu. Who's that? Actually, we're not. We're, we haven't really officially named him. I was gonna name him Einstein. You know who Albert Einstein is? Uh, or should we name him Michael Myers? Michael Myers? No, yeah, not, that's not a good name for a snake that can, uh, for a lizard that can bite you. How or, about? Or how about? Oh, I got a better how about name. Shadow, like, or no, Sonic. Sh no, how about? How about? How about Mario? Like no. Mario how about um, um, sh um, um, Shadow, Shadow the Snake, Red Eye. Because um, it has red eyes <laughs> yeah. and it's shadowing. Well, he's not really shadowy. He's kind of whitish, so we probably should give him a name with like white, you know, like whitish albino skink. <laughs> he's not a, this one's not a skink. This is a water monitor. He's <sighs> gonna get really big, this guy. Yeah. As opposed to the you know, skinks that don't really. You get know that big. the um, YouTuber? He has a very. He's a very big one. He brings it to every pet store. Okay. Look, uh, that's probably Brian Barchuk. You want to look at the camera and tell him um, what your name is. Pick out a name. You guys pick a name for this guy, and Logan's gonna give you his name. Now pick pick a good one. Uh. Hulk Logan. No, I get to pick. It can be. Tell the camera. It can be uh. White is shadow. Or the white shadow. That used to be a TV show. The white shadow. Yeah. Or the um <laughs> strong or the muscle. I like the white shadow. Know. Muster, or give me a, a strong water. I like the white shadow. How about super? <laughs> All right, shiny we're gonna go. Shower. Let's go take a look at some shadow. snakes, okay? How about super shiny shadow? <laughs> super shiny shadow. It's a what long about, name. What about lemon whip? Lemon what? whip? Like, because he whips no. Peppa and I with the tail? <laughs> yeah. The tail hurts way more than his, his mouth. Oh, yeah. Way. How about um scratch? How about scratchy? Scratchy about, do? No, how about. Bite, bite licorice. Licorice? Uh, white licorice? Yeah, white licorice. <laughs> okay, that's... Alright, he's going. Now he doesn't want to go back. You notice that, probably, have you noticed when you take him out at a certain point, he's like, alright, this is cool. Now I'm kind of used to you. Now I don't want to go back, you know? Yeah. But Pablo's taking him out. You're taking him out too, right? Yeah. yeah. He's taking him out, I'm taking him out. Yeah, so we got both of us are so kind of... so cool. I'm desensitized now. He's so cool. You kind of desensitized to us, which is good. Now we got to get the other one. Like the other one is getting better. I think it's just you got to put more time into. You know, the more time you put in with these guys, the better. The question was, if we get Paul's um, black dragon, we'll be able to train that. That's that'll be our a true test of our talents in training water monitors. All right. Thank you, Sean and Rock, for all the encouragement and all the uh, help getting these guys to where we got them right now. Appreciate it. And I was, uh, like, I probably got, like, car sick from the back. All right, no one cares about your car sickness. Sick. And I probably got, I was shivering. I was shivering. All right. This is our black-eyed leucistic Burmese python. Super hypo granite. Possible green. We wouldn't know because it's uh, the super hypo gene. When you have two copies of the hypo gene, you get a leucistic white snake with a little bit of tones of just a little bit of yellows in there but mostly white black eyes and beautiful little girl it's not even a little girl anymore she's she's probably a year and a half old now we're really slow growing her since i can't breed these guys anyway so there's no reason to get them up to huge size and we'll just keep watching her grow and documenting she's a beautiful pink tongue she's a really nice very good temperament Burmese python too. She's a sweetheart, and I want, I'm going to put her into a bigger cage too. I think she's finally at that point where she's ready to be transferred. We got to get her into one of the probably four foot or six, probably six footers, and give her some room to roam around. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I was, like, super psyched about those green tree pythons, man. But, you know, it's funny because three of the ones that didn't make it, you know, look perfectly formed. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost blaming myself for not cutting the eggs. There's my little helper, Logan. Uh, because, you know, I'm wondering if they just got trapped in the eggs and couldn't get out because they look perfect. But you know what? We, we waited till one pipped and then we cut the rest of them. And, you know, who knows? You know, sometimes uh, you can't hold yourself responsible because if you do, you'll drive yourself nuts. And that's what I learned. You know what? We got seven babies that hatched out. They look healthy. Hopefully they'll start eating. That's enough to get feeding, I guess, for, for one person or two people, as we should say. But uh, it's just sad that we lost those three that, that looked like they could have made it and they didn't. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. I could have had zero surviving. I could have had zero eggs. It's a big process. And just because you see a lock on a snake doesn't mean you're going to get eggs. Just because you get eggs doesn't mean they're going to hatch. Just because they hatch doesn't mean they're going to feed and eat and thrive. So you never know. There's a lot of steps along the way. You, you know, they always say don't count your chickens for that. You know, I had 13 eggs. I, if I, in my mind, said, oh, I got 13 babies coming, you know, and sold, pre-sold them, well, that would be the stupidest thing of all time. That's just the way the hobby works. So that's the way it goes, you know, and I'm super psyched to say that the uh, water monitors are doing really well. Our male, which I think is our male, seems to be going to Pablo and I, no problem. We're taking him out of the cage. We're having a good time with him. He's, I guess, becoming more used to us. The female's still a little skittish. I did, I pet her, I can put my hand in there. She doesn't run all the time. I tried to take her out today. Um, she got a little nervous and ran away. So we're gonna just take it, we'll take our time with her. It's just, I think the more time you put in, eventually if you do things the right way and we have them set up the right way, the way Kevin McCurley suggests, I think eventually they'll, they'll come around and they're young enough where they're gonna eventually bond with us. There's no other option. We don't, we don't have a lot of hiding spots in there. The cage is not too big so they, it's just us, you know, Pablo and I are in there every day with them. We see them, they see us, we change their water, we feed them. They know that we're not here as a threat. So it's just putting in the time. And that's the case with anything, you know. Um, over the next couple of weeks, you're gonna see, I'm gonna start setting up some more enclosures. I sold a bunch of racks. You saw that crazy rack video where the guy took that big freedom breeder out in his car. I'm making room because I want us to do some more display cages and really set some stuff up real nicely. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, hit that like button. I'll see you back tomorrow morning.